I'm so fucking sick and have been for the last couple days to the point where I can't hold anything down. Water makes me sick. I can't stand up for too long. Of course, about five minutes later, I look at my mom and I say, I don't feel good. I'm going outside. She follows me out there like, what's wrong? And I start puking all over. Everything I just ate. What a waste of money. I'm tired of fucking eating. Because all I do is puke it up, man. I got sicker than fuck there. And that's when it began. Like that night, as soon as I came back in, I was like, my stomach feels a little sore. And Sunday, it was sore, but I was like, I'll see through. I always do. I didn't eat anything on Sunday. Because when my stomach starts to get a little sore, anything can trigger the motherfucker at that point, okay? So Monday rolls around. It's yesterday morning, and I'm really fucking hungry. I can tell. But I don't want to eat anything because I'm still goddamn sore. Like, this time it's a little bit worse. I'm like, uh. So I drink milk. That helped for about five minutes. And then next thing you know, I'm puking up milk. Then... That was like like four o'clock in the morning. About six o'clock, I'm like, I'm so fucking hungry, I'm shaking. So I go in there and I eat four crackers very slowly. And things seemed to get better. I was okay. I started the soreness was gone. I was like, all right, this is, you know, maybe I was just hungry. Motherfucker. Salami was on special. I know I'm a fat ass. Salami was on special. The hard salami was on special at the deli. And I had gotten like a little bit of it. Well, I forgot that I had it yesterday afternoon. I was like, God, I'm fucking starving. I got to eat something. So I'm going through and I'm out of cheese. I'm out of my fucking nuts. I'm like, this is ridiculous. So I see and I'm going to find that fucking salon on me. And I'm like, yeah, I forgot I had you. I ate one piece. Everything seemed to be okay. So I grabbed two more pieces. Well, no, no, no. I grabbed two more pieces. The dogs bullied those out of me. I was like, okay. Next thing I know, I'm sitting on the couch in this fucking stomach ache. And I didn't even eat anymore. I ate one piece. I was going to eat the other two, but I gave them to the dogs. It came back worse than I've ever felt it. And it's been like that consistently since yesterday afternoon. I mean, I'm fucking starving, dude. I can't hold anything down. Water comes up. Every fucking thing. Everything. Here's it. I'm fucking hungry, though. And um, so last night it got real unbearable, and I don't know what to do. And I'm telling my parents, they don't fucking know what to do. So I called the next best thing, called Doug, and I'm like, what in the hell do I do? She's like, well, sometimes tea makes you feel good. And I was like, can you please take me to get some tea? So I go, fucking all of Starbucks are closed on Monday for some goddamn unknown reason. So I went to fucking Dunkin' Donut. I got a chai tea. Oh, Lord have mercy. That just fucking was terrible. It was, it just, it was terrible. It made my stomach hurt so goddamn bad. I didn't even drink the rest of it. I'm sitting there and he's like, you need to go to the hospital. You need to go to the hospital. I was like, no, I need to eat. It, it could be because I haven't eaten. And he was like, well, what, what can you eat? I'm like, nothing at this point. Everything I fucking put in my mouth makes me sick. And it's been like this for like a year. Something's wrong. You know what I mean? So I go, I get fucking soup of all things. Fucking soup. I didn't even eat the noodles. I was drinking the broth. God damn it. I got sick on that. I went to, he took me to Padera. I got literally half a fucking grilled cheese and a fucking chicken noodle soup. It's still sitting in there. More waste of money. I can't fucking eat it. My stomach cramps so bad when I do eat, it, and it hunches me over. Like, you know, I can't even sit up straight. Like, I either got to be laying down, or I'm hunched the fuck over in pain. I don't know what is wrong. I just try to call my sister. She was no fucking help. For the first time since my gastric bypass. I'm seriously considering going to the hospital because this is unfucking bearable. I'm fucking starving, number one, and I know I am. 
but I can't, I can't eat, I cannot, never, I'm telling you guys, please listen to me, I know I'm full of shit a lot, I know I say a lot of shit to this and take it to the grave with you, never, you're thinking about it, don't, do not have gastric bypass, do the sleeve, do something else, never have the bypass, it has ruined my life. I don't care. I'd rather be fat and happy than fucking. I wouldn't even say I'm skinny and small and fucking miserable all the time. I lived such a better life back then. I could eat whatever I wanted. I was never sick. The worst thing was I was fucking. Other than that, I was healthier than I was. And I was just scared of the long term effects. But I didn't have anything wrong with me. Now everything is wrong with me. It's not worth it. All to be vain. I'm, this is my karma, man. I thought if I had that surgery and I was skinny, all my problems would go away. That is a fucking lie, man. Oh, nothing's went away except for fucking my ankles swelling up. You know, that doesn't happen anymore. But everything in the book is wrong with me now. And it makes me fucking miserable. It's where I drink myself to death. I wish I could go back and change it all I would. It's changed my life so bad. It's fucked up my hormones so bad. I've lost friends. I've lost so much because of the surgery. I'm a different person. I don't even know who the fuck I am anymore. I had a good idea before. I was a strong person back then. No, I'm not. At all. I should have done this, you guys. All to be skinny. That was all it was about. Now look at me. I can't even get out of the fucking bed. I can't eat. Awesome. Oh my awesome. And look who I run back to every time. It doesn't matter. You know, the cheat, what I felt to be cheating when Doug was doing it, that amped up me a lot to do this. And it's not his fault by any means. It was mine. I just wanted to change. I just thought if I, I don't know. I thought a lot of things. But I'm going to lay here for a minute. And then I'm going to force myself into the shower. Oh my God, you guys. I'm so fucking sick. I'm going to make myself take a shower and then. I'm just going to go to the hospital. I cannot. This is unbearable. I'm taking my truck. I'm going to pack a bag because I know they're going to goddamn admit me. I'm packing a bag. I'm not wearing that stupid gown. I'm not doing any of that. I'm fucking just going to go. I'm going to bring clothes. I'm going to wear my own clothes. Bring my iPad. Bring my phone charger. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I don't like this at all. God damn it. I got to do it, though. I'm so fucking sick, man. Next time you guys see me, I'll probably be set up in a fucking hospital bed. God knows what's wrong. Probably on IVs and everything fucking else. 